Hello everyone, my name is Vic and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be continuing our 2020 Caden Law tutorial series. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to talk about a few changes here because I think it's important. First of all, I've upgraded my system to the latest uh, Pop! OS release. If you've been following along, you will know that I use uh, Pop! OS as my desktop Linux distribution. Last time I was on version 18.04 and I have upgraded now to version 20.04. So far everything works pretty good. It works pretty similar the way that we would update and install the app. So everything that we talked about previously in the previous tutorials, uh, as long as it's in 2020, it should still apply. So even if you are still on version 18.04, or if you've upgraded to version 20.04, then you should be able to follow along. And by the way, if you are on an Ubuntu-based distribution, like Pop! OS, or if you're on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or any of the other Ubuntu derivatives, uh, most of what we talk about should apply. Now, things might look a little bit different because you might have a different desktop environment, but if you follow along, uh, any command line stuff should be the same. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to do a time lapse of photos. Now, there were a couple of um, comments in the previous videos uh, asking me how to do this. So I did a bit of digging around and I figured out a good way to do this. So before we talk about that, I'm just going to show you the pictures that we're going to be working with. So. Uh, this was way back in the day when I went skydiving and they did a series of photos here. So it pretty much starts off with, you know, us at the bottom. Let me see if I could zoom in here. You know, starting with us on the ground and then going through, going up in the sky and then jumping out of a plane. So you'll see me, you know, sort of skydive here. Probably not the best example for, you know, a good looking time lapse, but I wanted to use this because it's a good sequence and there's about 329 items in here. So it's a good way to also test the limits of Caden Live to see how many pictures it can handle uh, when we make the time lapse uh, slideshow. So we'll go ahead and get started. So in our project bin, we're going to add our photos and we're going to add it as a slideshow clip. So go to your project bin and click on add slideshow clip. We'll navigate to the, um, the folder where we've kept our photos. So I've already have it here. So that was our time lapse, our skydive photos, I'm pointing it in that directory, press OK. And it's going to load all of those photos on here. Now we've got a few options here. We've got a frame duration which is how many seconds, the time that it takes to switch over to the next photo or to the next frame. We've got an option for a loop, center crop, adding a dissolve, which I'm actually not gonna, we might try that if we have time. You can even add some animations here. So we'll just start with the basics. So frame duration of five seconds, we'll click OK. And it says here that we've got 329 images. So click OK and there's our slideshow. I'm going to bring this into my timeline and it's telling me that this in total the slideshow is about 27 minutes long. So it's a pretty long slideshow. We'll just press play here. You notice that every five seconds it's going to advance to the next photo. There we go. So it advances to the next photo. And by the way, if you think that the quality is really poor, that's because I've scaled it down to 360. Um, you can, you know, put it up to one is to one. I'll scale it down to 360 because um, I don't want any stuttering. So I want to have pretty decent performance. Now, if we want to change our options, so say five seconds transition is too long, we can right click on the clip and go to clip properties and we can change the time. So let's say we want it at every one second. So press OK. You'll notice that it's shortened down to five minutes, 29 seconds. 
because we're advancing a lot quicker through the photos. So if we press play, so every one second you see a change. Now, we'll talk about a couple of things here, so because this confused me in the beginning. So we've the frame duration is broken down into hours, minutes, seconds, and then FF. And I figured out that FF actually means frames. So whatever the frames in your project is, is how many frames it will advance uh, each second. So in our case, if we do an experiment here, if I want to do 24 frames per second, we should have no change at all in our project or in our slideshow. So 529, so if I press OK, it remains at 529. And that's because we are advancing 24 frames per second. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So if you have 30 frames per second here, that max number for you is going to be 30. If you have 60 frames per second, that max number at the bottom here, the FF, is going to be 60. So if you're just trying to fine tune things, that's kind of how it works, okay? So let's go with half of that. Let's go with 12 frames per second. So this is going to be a lot faster when, in terms of advancing. So it's reduced further down to 2 minutes 44. And this is going to play a lot faster when we play it. There we go. So let's play with a couple more things here. Clip properties. Let's maybe add a dissolve. Say every transition, I want there to be a dissolve. So let's try that. So every time it advances, there's a dissolve effect. That's pretty cool. We'll do one more here. Click Properties. Maybe we'll add an animation. We'll do a pan. And we'll actually increase this back to one second because I want that, I want to see that pan effect. So if you're doing a slideshow, this might be a good, yeah, shortcut. Just random panning. Actually, it doesn't really look nice. Maybe pan and zoom, low pass. Let's try that. I'm just trying random things here, just to demonstrate. Ah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, this is better for slideshows, but for time lapse, we just want it to be no dissolve and no effect, right? So just a straight up time lapse. And let's try to do something crazy here. We'll advance it at one frame per second. So that's a 13 second clip, video clip. And when we play that, there's going to be some frame skipping because it's trying to do this on the fly. So what I'll do is I will render this out and show you the final product. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you again for joining me. The best way to support the channel is to give it a like give a subscribe. I'll try to release videos every week or so. Uh, as long as I have time, I'll continue to teach, continue to show you how to do things. If you've got any questions, uh, type it in the comments box. If I know how quick answer for it, I'll answer it. If you need more references, then definitely I'll link to the entire playlist in the video description. Check those previous videos out. You'll probably find your answer there. That's it for me. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.